So in today's video, I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to regrip one of your own golf clubs. All you really require is some white spirit, some grip tape, a Stanley knife, and obviously a new golf grip. So the first thing we need to do is obviously remove the old grip. So we are regripping a graphite club, which you've got to be slightly more careful with, um, with the standing knife. So what I tend to do is I roll the end of the grip slightly down, like that. Make a small incision into the grip and then it should just peel off. If it's a steel shaft, you can actually just pop the standing knife straight down the actual shaft and the grip. It doesn't matter if you make contact with the shaft because you won't cause any damage. With graphite, you have to be a little bit more careful because you've got the fibres. And if you actually nick a fibre or damage a fibre, then the shaft can actually split or actually can start peeling, which is not obviously what you want. There's a couple of ways that we can actually do this. We can either peel it like I'm doing with this particular club. The grip tape's pretty fresh, so it comes off relatively easy. You can use a hairdryer on it, so the heat will just help to lift the actual tape from the shaft, or you can add some white spirit. The easiest way if you've got a steel shaft is just to get your standing knife, work away from yourself and just scrape the tape off. There's a couple of different types of grip tape you can use. I tend to generally use the very thin stuff, but they do it in full strips, which I would probably recommend when you're doing it for the first time. It's just easier to, to apply. It's generally cut to length. And when you purchase a grip from a, from a grip company, they will generally provide the tape needed to actually complete the repair. So the grip tape is double sided. So all we do is we overlap at the top, just leaving a small edge and then just run the grip tape down the shaft, leaving a small gap all the way down. A quick so tip, you can actually either put a little small mark on the shaft with say a, a non-permanent pen, just to see how far to grip it, or just grab the grip and just measure it, leaving sort of half an inch at the top and work your way down. You don't want any real excess tape below the actual line of the grip. It's okay on steel because you can just trim it and cut it easily, but on graphite, as you don't want to be using a standing knife, it's important to get the right amount of tape. It's going to peel the first layer of tape. If you're just using a strip, it will literally just be one layer and it's easy to remove. And now we'll just fold the top bit of tape, excess tape over the top of the butt end of the grip and I'm now just going to fill in the gaps. So I'm just going to wind it around and fill in the gaps like so. I'm doing a few grips and quite quick at it now. There you go. You see all the gaps are filled. I'm just going to peel that off now. It should come off in one go, although this hasn't. Again, leaving a little bit of excess around the top. So when we fold that over, it should just cover the butt end of the club, making it just slightly easier to fit the grip over the top. Ideally, you would have a vise to actually put the grips on. Um, I generally use it if I'm using a putter grip or if I'm using one of the new alignment grips, it's just slightly easier sometimes to line the actual grip up and make sure it's on straight, but that's not necessary when doing most grips. And if you haven't got one, it's not a problem. So a little tip for you, especially when you've got say a corded grip, we've got the multi-compound here, so it's corded at the top and then quite soft at the bottom. Um, the top bit can be quite rigid, so what I tend to do is just give it a little massage really, just to make sure, you know, you just soften up the rubber, just makes it slightly easier to actually push that grip over the shaft. you notice on the bottom of the butt end of the grip, there's a hole, okay? So we pop the T in there, so when we fill the actual grip with white spirit, the white spirit's not going to run out the bottom of the grip. So get your white spirit, just pour it into the actual grip. Just be careful not to over pour and let it run onto the actual outside of the grip because it will actually perish it eventually. Give it a shake just to make sure the whole of the white spirit has filled the grip. And then we're going to pour the white spirit over the grip tape. Suggest you do that it's into a container so you don't lose the white spirit or make too much of a mess. So I've poured it completely over the grip. So I've poured the white spirit over the grip tape. Remove the T from the end of the grip. And now we're ready to actually put the grip onto the golf club. One major issue that I see 
is people don't use enough white spirit. So just don't be afraid to use a lot of white spirit. You'll save the white spirit. But if you don't use enough, then there's not enough lubrication. It makes it impossible or difficult to actually push that grip over the grip tape. So don't be afraid to use lots of white spirit. So now I'm just going to slide the grip down the actual shaft, keeping it trying to keep it straight as possible. And then I'm just going to give it a small tap on the ground just to make sure that the actual butt end of the club has, is completely filling the bottom of the grip. It's also important to remember that this grip will still move probably for one to two hours. So if you are regripping your clubs, don't go straight out and play with them. But the beauty of that is we can actually now line the grip up. I mean, I'm pretty good. I've done thousands of grips over the years, so it should be on pretty straight. But I can still manoeuvre or manipulate this grip slightly if it's slightly twisted or if it's not straight um, for a good couple of hours. So that's what I do now is I just put the club down, address it and just check that that grip is on straight. There is sort of a new way that you can actually fit grips. You can actually use air now to push the grip on, which you don't need white spirit or tape and you can purchase an air gun for sort of around about 40 to 50 pound but I still believe that white spirit is the easiest way to actually put a grip on and I know that that grip will permanently stay there. Got another job here. We're doing a really important job here Harry, I'm just showing people how to put a grip Sorry. on and you interrupted. It's uh, for my own personal use this one. You know the, you know the story, own personal use, do it in your own time. <laughs> So thanks for watching, hopefully that shows you how simple and easy it is to actually change your own golf grips.